Yo, what's up everybody? Hey, before we begin, I want to say this episode was brought to you by Triple Hill Hotel, located right here at Wager at Choice Junction. 22 rooms, sky bar, delicious catfish, a pool outside. If you want to know more about this wonderful hotel, make sure you call them. Information is in the description below. This series is all about the children. And guess what? I found a gym. Someone who actually not only helps artists, but helps the children of Ghana get books that look like them and tell their own stories. Yo, what's up everybody? Hey, it's Tim Swain, I'm back, and I have a very special guest. My name is Kwabna Nyamichedapa, and I'm the lead at Mano of Books, and we are into books marketing and book selling, and we love children. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, 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 thank you so much for uh, taking the time to be with me today. Um, as I told you, we, we, we're having a conversation about you know, the children, and, and I told you a little bit off camera about my story of really finding it difficult to find books that reflect uh, my child. Mm -hmm. right and, and really getting the authentic experiences of learning through an African lens and so when I found out about what you're doing not just for uh, the authors that come to you but for the children mm -hmm. I wanted to sit down and have a short conversation Thanks. so so manner of books <clears throat> yeah tell us a little bit about how you started this company okay so thank you very much and I think what you're doing is great I mean children are definitely the, the future of Africa and the world so it's good to invest in them how did I start? Uh, Manual of books. As I was telling you off camera, I, I'll, I'll not call myself an ardent reader. I was not reading a lot, but I was reading textbooks because I like learning and I still like learning. I have been in the hospitality industry. I worked at the Fiesta Royal Hotel, then I went to uh, number one Oxford Street Hotel. But the coming of COVID, you know how hospitality was hit, so we were, asked, we were laid off actually. And when I got home, I was asking myself, what can I do with what I have? And it was a very down moment for me. Mm -hmm. And I, I read one mail, I received a mail, one of the books that I've um, subscribed to. And I read something, and it, it gave me hope. And then I started reading books. And anytime that I read a book, I put it on my status, I talk about that book so that people can know about the book and find and buy it. But then I realized one lady sent me a message that this is a good book. Can I can you buy it for me? So I bought it and I took it to her. And another person. And I realized that no. Then I can move into this space. I can start selling books at a profit. So then I started stocking up books and I started selling. Then as we I continued doing this business, I asked myself, what to make me different? What will make me stand out? Because a lot of people are selling books all over. Then I decided that, okay, let me concentrate on African authors, Ghanaian authors. Let me promote them. Let's do something, books marketing, because I have my, my um, skills in marketing. So let me, let me employ my skills and let's call this a books marketing company. So that's how we moved into books marketing. And of course, people ask me, are we the only African books? No, we are in a global village. I need someone out there, someone out there needs me, but primarily we want to promote um, African writers. So yeah, that's what moved us into that space and we started doing books. So we are a books marketing company and children, we love children, we love children and our love for children made me meet up with, from, because of the love for children, I've been teaching Sunday school since GSS. Wow. And now I've completed university that's many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been doing that for long. And through my exploration, I met this uh, lady. And she's a financial pest analyst. She works in the financial sector. But she also has, has that love for children. She has been teaching children for over 30 years. And she started a, a publishing company called Anedo Books. So we partnered with her and we started selling her books. So that's what actively brought us into selling African published and written children books. Wow, yeah. wow. You know, that, that, that's such an amazing story. And it sounds like, okay, you had this idea and 
it started from just your love for reading yeah. and then you saw there's a need in the marketplace because people wanted to read what you're reading but yeah. it wasn't a way to get them yeah. the books so you decided to do something and you let know, me add, let me add yes. to that you see the one of the unique opportunities that the season brought to us was everybody was asked to stay home yeah so if you want to read a book it's either you are reading a, an ebook yes or if you want a hardcover you have to go out to buy it yeah. but we said that no we'll bring the book to you so you can't go out but we will find a way and get the book to you so that's what we do we don't have a physical store it's an online shop you buy the book and we deliver at your doorstep that's one of our um our unique selling propositions okay so let me cover a couple things let's say i'm an artist uh or not an artist, excuse me, not an artist but a an author Arthur, yeah and i i have an idea i have a book i don't know how to get that book out to my to my audience, audience. okay that's something that your yes. company does yes. so if i come to you with this book what can you help me do to ensure that my book gets in the hands of every single person i wanted to get into so we have a conversation with the author we try to understand why you wrote the book what impact do you want to have which people are you trying to reach and then we see how we can reach those particular people so some of the instruments that we use is uh, we do an online review of the book that will be published on Facebook and Instagram. As we talk, we walk people through the book for them to understand exactly what you are trying to talk about. So, um, somewhat to whet their appetite. Okay. Then we we'll, we also organize book clubs. So at these book clubs, we talk about the book, we talk about the topical issues in the book, try to get people's perspective, just to mop up the interest in the book and in reading as general. And then we creatively display those books on our platform that's on our facebook and instagram platform so that uh, we know people see books all over but you know when you add some artistic view or some artistry to it and how it is displayed it becomes more um, um, attractive to yes, the eye yes. yes so we make it more attractive to the eye and we post it on our social media platforms for, for people to have a look we also have a program with sunny fm it's called read um, the writer's blog and on that show we will have an one hour interview with the host we talk about your book and from time to time to we mention your book for people to know about it and then as i said as we and we when we have when we have that conversation with the with the author and we know the kind of people you want to reach then based on that for instance we have one author called dr puma and we are doing a campaign that we call read nation and this campaign is is here to encourage people to read ghanaian authored books wow. so we started at the beginning of the year we've been talking about it done a lot of um, um adverts on social media and then we are going to secondary schools in secondary schools what we are doing is trying to encourage the students to read and to write as well and one thing that i told the students was this to be able to write, you just need to be a good writer. We have good, better, best. Just be good and be willing to go. Okay. You can don't be, don't think you are the best writer before you write. No, just have something to share. And I told them that you can share anything. And I asked it was a girls' school, and I asked them if they have experienced a broken heart before, <laughs> and if they have broken somebody's heart before, yeah, yeah. and how did they survive? Yeah. They can share that information because it happens every time. Yes. Share that information. You are writing. So they encourage them to write online. And then for the author, we give her the unique opportunity to sell her book and to sell herself as an author. Because we believe that it is one thing to sell a book and it's one thing to sell yourself as an author. A lot of people just look at selling a book. But you see, I will buy your book if I know you and I know your worth and I know what you can provide. So sometimes you have to allow yourself to be out there. For people to know who you are so that people will trust you so now when they are buying your book they know that they are buying from a trusted source yeah. so we have the sales aspect of what we do and we have the marketing aspect of what we do so we are more strategic okay we are not just looking at selling a product but we are looking at an, a strategic view of selling so we create that long-term benefit for the author and their books wow yeah wow, wow. so my, my, my final question is um, for the consumer, the person that wants to, they see a book that they really like, 
and they want to get it. Um, how can they do that? Do you deliver? Do they call you? How can they get one of these books? Okay, so to get one of these books, um, you just have to call us. Okay. We are on Instagram. Our name is Mano of Books. Mano M A N O R O F and Books. As and we'll, you know, and we'll, and we'll put everything on the description. Okay, so they'll see it. Yes. yes. So you can follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. My number is there. Call us. Tell us the book you want. Shop. Look through the the books that we have online. The ones that you want. Call us. We we'll deliver to you at your doorstep. Wherever that you are, we we'll bring the book to you. Inside Accra, outside Accra, we we'll bring it to you. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, listen, I, I wish we had more time to get into uh, some of the other great content, but I just wanted people to really hear about your vision, really understand how they can benefit, and then really get some of these wonderful children's books, especially if they're looking to enrich the lives of their children as well as show them characters that look like them. So, so yeah. thank you so much for being thank with me today. Too. I sincerely appreciate it. And thank you so much for joining us for another episode. I sincerely appreciate you. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video. Until next time, peace.